just really sad. It's ridiculous that she's not even going to be here for that long. And so I don't understand what the problem is here. A family in turmoil. A woman rushes to her ailing mother's side for a major operation, only to have federal agents at O'Hare stop her cold. Good evening. I'm Jim Williams. And I'm Mai Martinez. Thank you for joining us. The Syrian woman spent a few hours in the international terminal, only to be told she must leave. This was all in response to yesterday's executive order signed by President Donald Trump. It immediately suspended the entry of Syrian refugees into the U.S. CBS 2 Sandra Torres spoke with the detainee's family, and she joins us live from O'Hare now. Sandra. Well, Jim and Mai, this woman is not the only one who appears to be affected by this travel ban. Take a look behind me. You are looking at dozens of attorneys who are volunteering here at Terminal 5 for the International Refugee Assistance Project. And they are here because they are working with passengers who are being detained because of the travel ban. They're telling me that they're working with at least 10 families right now, representing them if necessary. And I was really excited to see my aunt. It's been an emotional day for 14-year-old Judy Yulayet and her 17-year-old sister, Maria. My mom received a phone call from the airport telling her that my aunt would not be able to come in. Their aunt, Sahara Algonaimi, arrived at O'Hare International Airport this morning. But before she could meet her nieces, she was detained at U.S. Customs. But this was an emergency trip. She simply came here to see her mother, who is very sick. She has a valid visa. She has a return ticket. She has a return date for Saturday. She has a letter of support showing the reason for her visit, which is to visit her possibly dying mom. All of that documentation is null and void, it seems, as a result of this single signature by this one man overnight. Ahmed Rehab, executive director of CARE Chicago, refers to the executive order of President Donald Trump, suspending entry to all refugees to the U.S. for 120 days barring Syrian refugees indefinitely, and blocking entry to the U.S. for citizens of Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. Maria and Judy's aunt has a Syrian passport. It's just really sad. It's ridiculous. Though. She's not even going to be here for that long, and she's not even a refugee. Like, she has a stable home and a stable job and a family in Saudi Arabia. So I don't understand what the problem is here. And Maria and Judy now tell me their aunt was sent back to Saudi Arabia within the last couple of hours. That's the country that she now resides in. So she was unable to see her sick mother. In the meantime, here at Terminal 5, aside from those attorneys that I mentioned earlier, take a look behind me. There's also protesters starting to line up here at Terminal 5. They plan on having a news conference in about an hour. Reporting live from O'Hare International Airport, Sandra Torres, CBS 2 News. Jim, my. Sandra, thank you.